This is, this is really different. I've been wanting to talk about this for a long time. I've been working on it for three years. We're gonna introduce a new product. Here it is. Dun, 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 dun. It's called Templivate. Templivate. That's hemp. Elevated. So here we go. Templivate. This is really gonna be fun. Those little leaves aren't what you think. And you're gonna learn the difference in a minute. So hemp, it's hemp. It ain't pot. It isn't marijuana. You can't get high. Why? THC, delta-9 tetrahydrocannabidiol, is the psychoactive compound that occurs in marijuana. It does not occur in hemp. But hemp and marijuana are the same things. Cannabis sativa L, the same plant. This one has THC, the psychoactive. This one does not. It's the industrial hemp version. So to give you a comparison, we're all humans. That means we're all exactly the same. Not true. If a female was standing here, that's a human. This is a human. A female species is different than the male species, but they're both considered humans. This one's more capable. This one's a couch potato. <laughs> And that's really true because it's funny that the female species is the marijuana species, is the THC species. Like us, it's the productive species, <laughs> right? It's also the one that's psycho, that makes you psychoactive. <laughs> God did that, I didn't do that. I'm just telling you what he did, okay? <laughs> What's really cool about this plant is the male plant and the female plant can influence each other and males can become females, females can become males, they're morphodites. They can change. So if you grow a hemp field and you don't grow it right and you don't keep the female population out, you don't cull it, you don't uh, harvest and remove those females, just like anything, if you don't remove the females from a certain area, you're gonna have a lot of procreation going on. So you gotta get them out. And so that's the difference between cannabis sativa L industrial hemp, cannabis sativa L marijuana. And this has been going on for a long time. How about 5,000 years this plant has been harvested and cultivated for everything. Hemp, you can make rope, you can make fibers, you can make industrial oils. Has anybody bought hemp oil? Just regular hemp oil. That golden oil is used for salad dressings. Hemp seed is like flax seeds and other seeds. You use those for fiber nutrients. They're sold, they're legal, they're marketed in all of the countries doesn't have the THC. So how do you separate industrial hemp? The federal government on the 2014 de uh, Farm Bill declared industrial hemp as a crop with less than 0.3%, that's less than one third of 1% possible THC in the plant. And then we're still gonna extract it and bring down the CBD oils and out of that. So that's real important. It's not a drug, it's a whole food supplement. Hemplivate is full spectrum endocannabinoid nutrition, I call it ECN, from industrial hemp and flax oils. There's some flax oil in here. We're gonna talk about why the different oils and why the different nutrients also contain CBDs. There's over 100 naturally occurring cannabinoids, cannabinoids, cannabidiol, CBD1, CBD2, CBDV, G, A, N, 1A. There's just hundreds of them. Actually, the body has potential to manufacture and receive over 180 of them. There's things called terpenes, which are phytonutrients, phytochemicals, cofactor compounds that aid in the delivery of the cannabinoids to the human body. We're gonna show you where. So these are all essential to total wellness. The body has an endocannabinoid system, a system that regulates homeostasis, and we're gonna show you how that whole endocannabinoid system works. We're not calling it CBD on the label on purpose. We're calling it ECN. This is a nutrition product that feeds your endocannabinoid system, and when you feed that system, many results happen. We don't wanna make structure and function claims. How many people are medical doctors with the practice? Right, not a whole lot of us, none. So since we're not medical doctors and we're not in that business of diagnosing, treating, curing, mitigating disease, these products and all of the products in nutrition 
are designed to help the human condition from a nutritional standpoint, not from a structure or function standpoint. These are not pharmacological products. This does not contain THC, which is a pharmaceutical class one drug. Cannabinoids, cannabinoids, there's a bunch of different ways to say it, or you could say CBD. They feed our endocannabinoid system. When nourished properly, this system is responsible for hundreds of metabolic activities, bodily functions and biochemical processes in the brain, in the cells, and in our body. It's ubiquitous, it is everywhere. Endo, we've heard the word endogenous over the last couple of years. Endo, endogenous, is that which our body creates by itself. In the absence of supplementation, our body will manufacture these cannabinoids. And if our body does not manufacture them, all of the metabolic processes that we enjoy every day will collapse. So it is an essential nutrient, and we can get that from nutrition and nutritional supports. <coughs> Sorry. Those little blue things are the synaptic nerves which reside in our brain. They are our communication pathway. Those little gold dots that you see flying between those, those are neurons, the electrons. Those are the things that are energy from our mitochondria and our cells activate and produce to communicate neurons between each other. Think of it like wiring in your house. I plug the vacuum cleaner into the wall, it goes all the way to the main circuit breaker and goes all the way to the electric supply company. It's a perfect connection, the vacuum cleaner works. And if you have a vacuum cleaner like mine, which is Jenny, uh, <laughs> Uh, stop, start, uh, stop, it's uh, in the cord and how many times is the connection is broke and the machine doesn't operate. Imagine those, those electro neurons, those little electrical communication pathways being broke, being the wire cut, off, on, off, on, off, on, off, on. Now we're not talking about epileptic conditions because it's being researched from pharmaceutical products that contain class one ingredients. But if the switch is off on, off on, off on, off on all the time, you're not gonna get a proper signal and your metabolic process isn't gonna happen. Imagine if that signal goes to things that you don't see. Right now you can see this. Organ function, homeostasis, metabolic responses, how the body works, how hormones are created. All of those cycles have to have a good neuroelectrical communication system. And these nutrients promote homeostasis. It's the most ex uh, significant neurotransmitter system in the body, the endocannabinoid system. It's your most significant wiring diagram. What does it do? It regulates and balances nerve function, stress recovery, inflammation levels, immune function, energy intake, and the storage of energy, cellular life itself, the whole circulatory system, and more. None of those are disease claims. We're not talking about the structure and function disease claims. We're talking about homeostasis, putting the body in balance and giving it the nutrients so it will optimize. Uh, people talk about you know, that pain I had is gone. That headache I have is gone. Those self-diagnostic conditions that I can understand myself without pharmacological intervention, yeah, I can say that. I can feel those things. Homeostasis, this is cool. What's full-spectrum hemp oil? Has anybody heard that before, full-spectrum oil? So there's a difference. There's a uh, CBD isolate. Some people say, our product is 98% pure CBD isolate. It's a white powder, it's a white crystalline, it's a single compound. Full spectrum hemp oil are, is a dark black resin. Um, this compound is a complete phytocannabinoid. It's all of the micronutrients and terpenes, up to 80 different phytochemical compounds. So let's look at an orange and look at vitamin C. They're exactly the same, right? The vitamin C is a single isolate compound. You got a sodium L ascorbate, which is a salt-based one, or you got ascorbic acid, which is an acid-based one. It's singular for vitamin C. And if you're suffering from scurvy, anybody been on a ship for nine months without a lemon? <laughs> That's what you're gonna have. You're gonna have a vitamin C deficiency. But the plant, the lime, provides 
the vitamin C, and all the cofactors, and that's important. In an orange, when you eat the orange, you get citrus bioflavonoids, you get fibers, you get acids, you get sugars, you get all kinds of micronutrients. The orange is a micropharmacy in, in a fruit. You want to eat the orange, you want to eat the whole orange. So that's the difference. Now let's talk about a single compound. That's not what we have. We do not have an isolate. And by the way, those companies that are selling and promoting isolates or even including the isolate in their full spectrum are doing the wrong thing. So full spectrum, not a controlled substance, all the way nature intended. Now it's an oil. What happens when you put oil in water? This happens. What happens when you try and ingest oil? Your body has a way to break down some of those fats, to utilize some of those fats. It has a process called liposis that helps break down those fats. But when those fats are nutrient dense and those fats are in an oil form, the body's focusing on fat reduction instead of nutrient absorption. So one of the tricks is to be able to take this fat soluble compound, which is hard to break down, which is hard to absorb, and get it to deliver in the body. But, <coughs> excuse me. I spent $10 million to get a CGMP NSF audited FDA registered facility that's certified organic, that's certified kosher, that's certified halal, that's registered with the United States Department of Agriculture. I mean, you, you got to play the game the right way. You have to do the right thing. Uh, it's not negative when I say we don't make structure and function claims. It's informative. We want to not get ourselves into a condition where we have to address ourselves legally and politically. And you do so by being nutrient providers for general wellness. Just like our coffee, just like our Xanthomax, just like all of our other products are. Safe, natural, total wellness products. So now this, this oil, you got the vinegar and oil, you know, that, and as soon as you shake it up to put it on your salad and you put it down for one, two, three, it's separated again. Well, I'm not gonna get that nutrient in the body. So let's come up with something magic. By the way, you know that oil that you take? 80% of it passes through your urine and your stool because your body can't absorb it. So somebody says, we've got 10 milligrams of CBD and you're gonna absorb about two milligrams. And you're gonna feel a little bit of that. What if you could absorb it all? What if your body could use it all? What if it went everywhere in your body? This is fun. <laughs> I don't know which is, so on your left, you see that oil, that oil has other emulsions in it. This is your stuff. That oil has other emulsions in it, has liposome factors, has some fats. That's why it's not a black oil. If you look on your left, you see on the top where the 100 ml line is on there, you see that oil slick, the Valdez, the Enron oil slick, and then all that other stuff that's in the middle that just kind of looks like an egg that you dropped in there to make your egg drop soup. It doesn't want water. We're 60% water. I'm gonna put something in my body that doesn't want to partner with the thing that represents 60% of who I am. I wanna get that stuff in every water molecule in the body, every H2O molecule. The H is hydrogen, pH, potential hydrogen. I wanna benefit, how does my body work? And I'm gonna work with my body. I'm gonna get that food into my body but we can't sit there and shake it up. Now, we did try taking the oil first and then jumping for like an hour and a half and it still didn't break down and get solubilized. So we want a micro-encapsulated, water dispersible, bioavailable natural complex. Micro-encapsulated. So you got oil molecules, I wish the ping pong thing was up here. You have oil molecules and they're this big. And then you've got water molecules and they're a little bit smaller. So the big balloons are gonna sit on top of the water pretty easy. Surface tension, osmotic pressure, resistance, doesn't wanna get in. If we can make those particles really, really small, but I don't wanna cook it, I don't wanna grind it, I don't wanna decarboxylate it, I don't wanna anybody understand some of those things, I don't wanna break it down, I don't wanna reduce it to the sum of its chemical constituents, that's what cooking does, I don't wanna bastardize what nature and created. So that's going to be a challenge, but I want to make it a little tiny, tiny nano size molecule, the CBD oil concentrates, nano size. You see that silver rod, the titanium rod? I need to slide back up. Sorry, guys. So on the, on the left and the right, you can see that little rod in there. That is 
And that's, I've got four of these. That's a tabletop version, and they go to really big, massive versions. So I could have had a condo in the French Riviera, or I could have bought all this equipment so we could do this together, so I could have five condos. So we're going for the five condos. <laughs> It's a patented pharmaceutical technology called sonication. And you've ever taken your watch or your jewelry down to the jeweler and he puts it in the sonicator and it goes, Aah! and it breaks up all the stuff, you know? Or your dentist sometimes uses it on your teeth to break up and break down. It's a cold process to break down and separate those nutrients into sub nanomolecules. Then we take, to micro encapsulate, we take a liposome. You've heard of things like lecithin or, or these kind of things, or fats. Then we include the fats. You see that cloud, that little egg that looks, sorry about the slides, the, that little egg that looks like it's floating around in there and with the oil. And when you sonicate it, the little particles of CBD become micro nano sized and the liposome is a spherinizing compound to spherinize, to put around. It's called a micelle or a bilayer. It's a liposome structure that puts a fat molecule that the body will absorb and utilize as a food in a water dispersible format around a nutrient molecule so it makes it super small. Why do I want that? How big is a human cell? How big are those little micro neurotransmitters in our brain? We got to make it tiny so we can get it there. It's like taking an elephant and putting them in an Uber. It's just not going to happen. But if you slice them into T-bones, we can get it all in there, you know? So that's what we've done. We've T-boned your product. <laughs> H2O dispersible. A lot of people say water soluble. It's really H2O dispersible. Those particles are so small that it dissolves in water and you see it in that slide. It, what does bioavailability mean? If it's available, if it's there, it can be active. If you don't have money in your checking account, your credit card doesn't work. This really preloads that. And all of the things that you're seeing in that sonication process all come from plants. We're not using alcohols or diluents or chemicals or compounds. So all of the active ingredients are all natural. So here's the active ingredients. Full spectrum phytocannabinoid extract blend. And this comes from coconut oil, olive oil, industrial hemp oil extract, natural flavors, those liposome factors that you saw floating around are classified as flavors, so we don't have to tell you the exact three, we don't have to tell our competition the exact three compounds that we use that creates that liposome factor so nobody can knock us off. I have two FDA attorneys. I said, these are classified as natural flavors. Do I have to put those ingredients so people can knock us off? He said, no, you're allowed to call them natural flavors. Then we put echinacea extract and flaxseed oil extract. <laughs> echinacea extract and flaxseed oil extract are CBD agonist. An antagonist is some, something that is, is antagonistic. It, 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 it's resistant and volatile. An agonist is something that promotes, that receives, that opens the receptor sites. These compounds are chaperone compounds specifically for CBD. These compounds have CBD cofactors. They're not illegal, they're not a marijuana. Echinacea is everywhere, flaxseed oil is everywhere, and they're really great chaperone partners. Nobody else is thinking like this and putting these tools together for bioavailability and bioactivity. Why, Tony feels it in four minutes. These nutrients are the critical activators for dose. They are the receptor site influences that turn on our opioid endogenous potential, our dopamine endogenous potential, and our serotonin potentials. So how does it work? The anti-anxiety or anti-inflammatory impact of CBD is mainly associated with the activation of adenosine receptors. These are the receptors at the end of those, those neurotransmitters you saw, those two blue things. These are these receptor sites. And by stimulating adenosine, CBDs promote the release of dopamine and glutamate neurotransmitters. These are really important neurotransmitters that make everything happen. It will make your dose more effective. It will make your coffee more recognized. It will help your Xanthomax and the Xanthohumol complete its metabolic pathway. It, it's a wonderful partner. 
So processes like motor control, cognition, motivation, and reward mechanisms are associated with the release of dopamine, with glutamine, and it's involved in learning, memory found, uh, formation, excitatory signals, and cognition. So if you ever want to teach your elephant how to stand on a basketball, this is what you need. <laughs> but it's all about motor control. And it's something you can really feel. It's something you can see. It's something that makes a change. If, if you want to go to sleep at night, this isn't going to make you crash. This isn't going to make you like, oh, I just took it at 4 o'clock and I want to go die. It, it is going to just, you're just going to feel chill. You're going to see some really amazing results. You do not have to have a physical condition. The physical condition that we all have is endocannabinoid nutrition deficiency because our body requires it. If we had a vitamin C deficiency and we never took anything that had vitamin C, we'd have scurvy and other mouth sores and other kind of conditions. CBDs and serotonin. CBDs are also involved in the stimulation of 5-HT1A, the alpha serotonin. This receptor that's known to produce that antidepressant effect. So by opening up the door and stimulating the receptor and by taking our other dose factors as we have through the partnership of our nutrients that we take on a daily basis, we're turning on the key, opening the door to get a better result out of everything that we do all day. And it's really cool. Your human body and the gut's going to make serotonin. Over 80% of the serotonin that we produce is produced in the gut. So what if it can't be received and utilized by their brain? It can't because the 5-HT1A alpha receptor site is not the door's not open, the key isn't unlocked. So that's cool. That receptor is common to a huge range of other processes like appetite, pain perception, nausea, anxiety, and addiction mechanisms. This is why it is the perfect dose partner. How do I take it? You put it under the tongue. Ignore that sublingual delivery system. That's a pharmaceutical delivery language that you shouldn't use, but it's under the tongue. You put it under the tongue, hold it for 15 seconds, 20 seconds, 30 seconds, and then swallow the product. Two dropper folds is one dose. Two dropper folds is one ml each, two mls total. There's 60 mls in the bottle. There's 30 servings. For a therapeutic daily maintenance, this is a 30-day supply. If you just want a little bit and you want to take one serving, it could last you 60 days. You dose this and you use this according to your need and how it feels. How many people get this at night? Man, you're watching TV, you can't sleep, you just have anxiety, you can't let go of the thoughts of the day, you can't let go of the challenges, you have anxiety, we have stress, you want to get up and eat comfort foods to create dopamine and oxytocin and all of those things. What if you could create all of that? What if you could balance the body? What if you could de-stress yourselves and push yourselves in a calm, chilled, homeostate balance without that stoner effect? You'd find yourself going to sleep. And not other than feeling good is a great night's sleep. You know when you're, night, when you're sleeping at night and you're in REM? That's when your factory works. All of your organs work at full time, doing everything, rejuvenating the body, rebuilding the body, rebuilding themselves in the organs. So, Restful REM sleep is essential to health. It's essential to wellness. When do I take the Hemplevate? To start, take it at the end of the day. Take it by itself. Don't take it with other things so you can feel it. It's going to help you relax and it's going to give you a relaxing bind, mind and body state. All right, I can't believe I actually have three minutes and I did it on time. I'm not going to get yelled at. <laughs> We made the first batch of this. I don't think, I don't know how many bottles that we have. Let's see. <laughs> now I gotta start all over again. Don't laugh. One, two, three. <laughs> we have enough for everybody to try this.
it's a perfect romance. The music 